Dan in the Villages, Florida. You are one half of the famous couple Dan and Peg. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. Just, just mo, mo better. I'm have you seeing mo better, looking mo better, and show everyone else how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses when I cut the Zeiss progressive lens, the the Zeiss Light D digital freeform progressive lens with photo fusion, extra gray, and Duravision blue protect anti glare for your Ray, uh, your Ray Ban, your Oakley 8046 airdrop. Size 55, color 03, the gray shadow, my best-selling frame, my best-selling color. I'm going to take everything out of the box as Oakley sends it to me, your hard shell Oakley case. Inside of that is a Oakley cleaning cloth that doubles as a carrying bag. If you don't want to carry around your hard shell case, you got this to protect it in. Let me take everything out. And we have got the smoke gray color. It comes with two plastic sleeves, one on each temple that I will put on there when I ship to you. And of course, this is the airdrop. Hopefully this will pick up model number 8046. I can't see up close. Color 03, the 55 eye size. Color 03 is the gray shadow. So I'm going to pop out your original demo lenses, one of which says Oakley. And of course, you're going to receive all the manufacturer's original packaging as they send it to me. I'm going to put your frame into the tracing element of my blocker. Program the shape into the computer. You are Secret Agent 2766. So years from now, should you ever need new lenses for your frame, I can mail them right to your home and you'll see how to pop them in. A little stylus is going to pop up, go around, trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com, where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy any, any Oakley frame that I offer and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase, whether a prescription or not. Now you'll get your full reimbursement on your H HSA flex card. You will get your out-of-network reimbursement because I am not part of any insurance networks. So, we're going to move on to the next screen. I guess I can put this down here. I won't need it anymore. <coughs> Excuse me, a little sawdust here in the lab. Don't worry, it's not COVID. Speaking of which, we've had our first COVID fatality. Don't worry, it's not a real death. It's just the death of the printing capabilities. Now, Zeiss did send this out. But normally they include packets with all your frame, your lens information on there also. It just comes in the plain white wrapper today. Sorry about that. But you do get all the other accoutrements. And I will highlight that for you as we get to that. But I need to enter your pupillary distance, which is 73.5. Which is, what is 73 divided by 2? Come on, i got a calculator here. 36.5, right? 73 divided by 2. Yeah, so I'm going to enter 36.5. The computer starts at 32.5, but I'm going to go up to the plus sign until we get a 36.5. That still doesn't equal the... 36.5 times 2 equals 73. We still have half a millimeter. Oh, this... And I'm going to raise the optical center up to 19. Now, the blue cross is the geometric center of your frame. Your eye is just above that. So, what I'm going to do is just go to the outside of that box to squeak out an extra half millimeter. Now, I just should back up and say, well, yeah, let me back up and say, <laughs> I am an authorized Oakley dealer. I will step forward and finish. I do not have these listed on the website yet. I'm in the process of actually branding my own frames. I'm working on that website first, coming out of the line of Christian eyewear. But as soon as that website is complete, I will revamp the, completely re revamp the freeprescriptionlenses.com website and I'll have all the Ray-Bans and Oakleys on there when I do. I'm just pressed for time. So if there's an Oakley frame that you want, just go to the contact me page of the website, email, let me know what frame you want, size and color. If you really want to be nice, upload a picture of your prescription, tell me your pupillary distance, and I can get back to you with the exact time frame and price of what everything will cost once you explain your lens options. You get that? You will be tested. Let me recap. Email me and, all right, just call me. The same contact numbers on, on the website. So, your lenses. Hey, that's the right lens. I had a 50-50 chance. I have a 100% chance of pulling out your left lens. Okay, so your right lens, and you have a unique prescription. You are plus 3 in your right eye, minus 15. 
Farsighted in your right, nearsighted in the left, which is a common occurrence after cataract surgery, which Dan called me on the phone to pay with his credit card and explain what had happened. And so even on the invoice, and by the way, I was looking at this, you got the Photofusion Extra Gray. They only wrote polycarbonate Photofusion. My invoice has the Extra Gray on there and something I really like. Right, and I'll send you a copy of my invoice so you know what you're getting. The It even has a thing that says plus minus okay, realizing that they're sending out a pair of plus lenses and minus lenses to the same patient. It doesn't happen often, but as it does happen. So, this is a block, or as I like to call it, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting. So I'm going to put a double-sided adhesive sticker. The black side is the sticky side. Put that one on the first block. Do the same thing for the second one. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. That silver button on the back is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice. The first time it's going to attach itself to a magnet there in the arm. Change the layout screen to progressive. And get everything laid out as such. Make sure the lens is large enough to fit, and it is. Hit that button, the arm's going to come down, place a block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the left lens. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Line up the silver button there. Same pupillary distance. Same way of me just squeezing out an extra half millimeter by moving it over in the box. Get everything laid out as such. Same PD, same optical center height. The seg height, the position of where, where the progressive will be when you are wearing it. Always like to make sure the lens is large enough to fit, and it will. Hit that button. I'll put the, now the block goes on the left lens. Now this is the blocker, this is the tracer. This is known as the edger. This combined costs $40,000. It weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out and buy their own. Put it on your kitchen counter, and you won't need this guy with the two thumbs and the bad jokes to do it for you. The actual cutting wheel is this diamond crusted wheel that's going to grind away your lens material till it's the final size. This wheel in the center is going to put the V-shaped bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. Now I'm going to wake up the computer. This is job ID number 2766. 2766, or as I like to say, installment 2766 of my 330 million volume series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America. So stay tuned, spoiler alert, you're going to want to watch episode number 330 million because something crazy is going to happen. Kids, I'm telling you, it's wacky. You better tune in. So these are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high index plastic or Trivex, I would select that material, but we're going to stick with polycarbonate. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it's not going to be seen in this frame. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens, but I am going to place one on the rear concave surface of the lens. And I'll explain why later. But one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take the lens down one tenth of a millimeter. Because I know from experience, I usually have to take these down. I'll probably have to take it down some more based on the prescription. I'm going to press the sticker on there firmly. Now the magnet's going to do its job a second time. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck. Or by now, you know I like to call it the Charles. Because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it Chuck. I just don't know any other jokes to say, too. So if you can think of something funnier, write it down on a $100 bill and mail it to me. And I will read it on the air. I will give you credit for the joke. You don't even have to include your name. I'll recognize your handwriting. <laughs> and I'll give you credit for the joke. So I'm going to hit the start button. The door closes. The clamp shuts. The lens will be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame on the first go round. And you can see it's just tracing the shape of the right lens. And then the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once, is measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which you will have none, if any. That's right, I said none, and then I said if any. <laughs> because you have two separate powers in your lenses so we'll just have to see now the light you see flickering in the background is water that's there to catch the optical sawdust as it comes off the cutting wheel polycarbonate lenses cut dry meaning that no water sprays onto the lens while it is cutting now trivex plastic and high index plastic cut wet meaning the water sprays onto those lenses for the duration of the cutting cycle now water will spray onto your lenses but only for the last 20 seconds to wash away any optical debris that you see beginning to form. 
Now, as I mentioned, your lenses are made out of polycarbonate, which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They're virtually unbreakable. These are high impact ballistics grade lens material. It's the same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel and from flying debris and the Oakleys that the government issues them. And speaking of protection, it has 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin, where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin, so you have permanent sunscreen. Unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that need to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure in the sun, they're in the villages in Florida, the retirement community. Now, Zeiss does such a complete job. They offer more UV protection than any other lens company. That's why they have partnered with the American Cancer Society because they offer up to 400 nanometers of protection. Now, speaking of protection, you also have the Photofusion Extra Gray, the regular Photofusion transitions, blocks 30 to 40 percent of the harmful blue light emitted from today's electronics. Yours blocks 50 to 70 percent of the blue light emitted from today's electronic devices, such as cell phones, tablets, computer screens, and of course the sun. Now, you also got the DuraVision Blue Protect Anti-Glare, which is one more additional layer while you're inside. It'll do a great job outside, but it's going to offer you even more protection inside. And of course, the anti-glare is three features in one. The first feature is it reduces glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain, but from street lights, stop lights, computer screens, overhead, fluorescent lights, and such. The second feature is it reduces reflection. So when someone's looking at you, they're not looking at their reflection in your lenses like you would get from the overhead fluorescent light, so it minimizes that, so it makes for much better eye contact. Plus, if you take a selfie or someone else takes a picture with a flash, you're less likely to see the flash lit up in the lens. It's just a much better cosmetic look. Now, the third feature that I like, and again, I'm pressing this. The reason why I put the safety bevel on the back surface of the lens, even though you're not going to have any edge thickness, normally if these are strong lenses, you would people back in the day would always put it on there. So if any portion of this lens protruded from the back of the frame, and came in contact with the cheek, it would be nice and smooth. Now these lenses are thinner than what they used to use years ago, but I still use that safety bevel technique because I don't want any sharp edges left on the back surface of the lens because as I press your lenses in there, and Dan, years from now, should you need new lenses, you'll see how to do it. I have the side I'm working on closest to me. Tuck it in at the outside corner. When I press down the nose, it snaps in there easily, but I don't want any sharp edges to come into contact with the frame. If I, if it did not want to go in first time around, and I'd have to take it down some more because the old cardinal rule, you can always make a make a lens smaller. You can never make it larger. So I started a little bit larger and worked my way down. Again, from experience, I took it down a tenth of a millimeter. I'm going to write that. That's why there's an R and an L. I'm going to write on there the size. In fact, I'll go ahead and do that now. Minus. 0.10 of a millimeter and we'll see what it's going to be on the left um, even though it's a much different power but that's why I make sure it's nice and smooth on the back of the lens because as I press down I don't want any rough edges to come in contact with your frame and mar the finish or cosmetic look of your frame so we're going to flip that over to L place the magnet into the Chuck the Charles the Chucky baby the Chuckaroo or today I'm calling it the, I was about to call it the Dan I'm actually going to call it the peg doesn't that sound better Peg, I know you were skeptical of him buying glasses online. I joke around a lot, but I did go to college for this. I have 21 years experience in the field. I have personally cut over tens of thousands of pairs of glasses. I've got nothing to hide. That's why I film everything and show you every step along the way. In just a moment, I'm going to do the, what's known as the final inspection. I'm going to verify that the prescription is written as the doctor is prescribed as the doctor has written it. And then we'll do the same thing for the left. I'm going to flip that over to L, hit the green button, scratch my head. <laughs> the door closes, the clamp shuts. I know, I'm a play-by-play -play commentator, aren't I? Um, it's going to trace the left lens, making sure it's large enough to fit into the left side of the frame. And then again, measuring the thickness to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. Look at that peg. He's got nothing. Dan's got nothing there. No edge thickness whatsoever, even with the above average prescription and above average astigmatism correction. So I want to take this block off, pull the sticker away, use my hand approved drying method. 
throw the oh I missed I threw it in the completed side I have some already stuck on there the empty ones on that side add to my sticker collection come down here to my Marco 101 lensometer spin the axis wheel to 100 which corresponds to the astigmatism correction of his right eye and I'll explain all that I'm gonna put it in just above that black dot turn it on and read the power and I'm getting plus three in the black minus powers are in the red but when we go to zero you can see the minus in red the plus in black let me go back to that power we're at plus three that's because his prescription reads plus three minus 275 at 100 in fact let me highlight this the right lens plus three minus 275 at 100 the bifocal strength is PD the height of the invisible bifocal and the curvature of the lenses so years from now when you go back to your doctor and they ask what you're wearing hand them this piece of paper they will be shocked and again the, the brand is the Zeiss progressive light D the D is for digital freeform progressive lens 18 is the corridor length and let's go ahead and put your right power on there which is minus 50 minus two and a quarter at 95 same bifocal strength they don't include the plus power on this side that's how they designate they leave it blank but the minus gets the minus symbol now again if you guys missed any of that let me recap <laughs> oh yeah you moan at that joke but you'll be telling it tomorrow so his prescription plus three he is farsighted in his right eye nearsighted in his left so the unit of measurement in the optical world is called a diopter, spelled D-I-O-P-T-E-R. Starts at zero and goes up in quarter increments from there, 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, 1, and so on. He's on the 12th rung of a ladder, three full diopters of nearsighted correction. Now, the reason why there's a plus sign, the images in his right eye are too small, so his right eye, his right lens is a magnifying lens left eye is a minifying lens but once the images are the right size he has almost the same amount of astigmatism correction now uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike of the letters p and f think of it as the fine tune knob we're going to turn that fine tune knob to 100 which is where we're at a straight line is zero to 90 to 100 so let's check this he has a plus three spherical power a minus 275 astigmatism correction which is a steeper curve and it's how we line those two curves up the x meridian is 180 the y is 90 we're going to turn that to 100 degrees let's check the second power and we're at plus a quarter one tick mark away from zero that's because if you had three dollars and you let someone borrow two dollars and 75 cents you would have a quarter left a quarter in the black now your right eye you have two steps of nearsighted correction but you have two and a quarter diopters of astigmatism correction now these first two numbers are real values to be concerned with this last number could be anywhere from 0 to 180. now it's 100 for the right eye 95 for the left so you only have five degrees of separation from your prescription and kevin bacon's now once everything is the same size you need it for distance you need an additional two and a half diopters of bifocal strength progressive power now it's still called a bifocal it just happens to be the invisible no line bifocal invisible trifocal multifocal progressive it goes by a lot of names so but it does everything now with his glasses off that's the cool thing because he's a minus 50 in the left and he takes his glasses off and closes literally covers his right i'm putting my palm in front of my right eye you might be able to read out of your left but again you can read for a very short period of time if you're going to read for more than five or ten minutes the uncorrected astigmatism will give you eye fatigue and that's why you can only do it for so little if at all so let's come down here let's see if the left lens is the correct size to mount or if i'll have to take it down some more dry everything off run my thumbnail around to get the rest of the optical sawdust off the lens I love it when it comes off in one piece like when you're cleaning the lint out of the dryer trap get all that off 
drop that in the trash can come down here pick up your frame again I have the side I'm working on closest to me tuck it in at the outside corner press down at the nose it snaps right in take the block off pull the sticker away add to my hoarding collection of stickers <laughs> it's stuck to the wall uh, look at that it gets a little puffy so I roll it down hard onto the thing now when I first went out on my own and then when I moved to the larger facility this this just shows me where I'm going in life some people look at their bank accounts I like to look at my sticker collection because that shows me how many pairs of glasses I've made how many pairs of eyes that are walking around on the planet or sitting there napping <laughs> on the couch snacking and napping but how many pairs of eyes I have worked on in this location in this space it's a good sense of accomplishment so we're going to spin the axis wheel to 95 which corresponds to the powers of the left eye put it in oh the black dot has worn off so the other nice thing about this piece of paper now these are digital freeform progressive so it tells you the compensated formulas for the far and the near it also says polycarbonate photo fusion you did get the extra gray don't worry it's on my invoice i'll send you a picture of it um, just someone in the printing department dropped the ball but that's what's going on in the middle of this covid thing that we have now but let me highlight that even though you did get the photo fusion extra gray and i will document that for you but the other nice thing is that all progressives what I highlighted down here have laser engravings in them that's where I dot those up that's why there is a let me see if I have a white background that's why there's always the two dots on every progressive there are laser engravings and that is the actual engraving it tells you the power LD and the 5.9 is the refractive index for polycarbonate the bifocal strength on the outer the nasal area has this logo the outer temporal area this is the nasal area the temporal area has this logo and the power the strength of the progressive but the middle dot has worn off so this layout chart allows me to those two dots are the engravings right there put that on there place a dot right there and again, if you guys missed any of that, let me recap. Oh, I'm going to milk that joke all the way down till you're not laughing. Although you're not laughing now, but I'm still going to keep telling it. Because if the clown gets to laugh at work, it's a good day at work. So, good day at the circus. Let's read the power. I am getting minus 50, exactly halfway between 0 and 1. Now, we're going to end up really far into the minuses because we're starting at minus 50. We're going to subtract another 2 and a quarter. Your astigmatism correction for the minus 50 and if all goes well we'll end up at minus 275 look at that one tick mark away from three i actually have a smaller flashlight but i just can't find it so pd time optical center height which is 19 i wrote it in small letters I mean, small numbers but i'll write it bigger so the pd is 73.5 the optical center height is 19. I'm going to turn the card around when I place the PD stick against my thumb on your right lens. Then hold it over on the left lens. Look at that. 73.5. The kid is good. And now the optical center height 19. Not to the bottom of the lens, but the middle of the plastic. Because remember, your frame has a bevel. The lens goes halfway down into the frame. And we're getting 19 millimeters there. So that is cut perfectly. 19 millimeters that is cut perfectly now the last step of final inspection is to get your frame into standard alignment also known as a three-point stance look at me cleaning up as i go now when you get these in the mail dan and there's a and there's free shipping anywhere in the u.s but when you get these in the mail there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight however there's an 80 percent chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other that's because 90 percent of people have one ear that is higher than the other and i'm no different but because of that statistic 99 percent of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them but i'm going to go ahead and get it in standard alignment also known as a three point stance the three points are i'm finished cleaning this one two and three press down on the counter and press down there is no wobble 
Now, when I flip it over and press down, there is no wobble. I want to close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly and they do that neither temple is askew. Check the tension on each hinge. If one was tighter, if one was looser, I would tighten the looser one. I would loosen the tighter one until they're matching. Now, this is the one nice thing. There's a metal core going through this plastic frame. So, if these were two... Now, Oakley has what's known as a temple, a pilot's temple. This Raven has a spatula temple based on the shape. If you can imagine old World War II fighter pilot, the old aviator glasses were straight back because that way you would have to, the pilot would have to take the helmet on and off to remove the glasses. This way they just slide right in. They have some built-in wrap already included like most Oakleys. This is one of the very few ones with a metal core that you can adjust at home. If these were to slide, you can bend them down so the curvature curves around your ear. And that's something even a novice can do. But again, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments. If you ask them, it only takes about 30 seconds to a minute to adjust a pair of glasses perfectly. Now, I'm about to show them, show these to you as they turn dark. But as you can see, it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for photochromic transition lenses to darken. It takes a little bit longer for them to lighten when you come back inside. Uh, 45 seconds to a minute to a minute 15. Now this is important, Dan, Peg, and everyone else listening. All photochromic transition lenses will turn dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks they're exposed to the sun. After that, they will work for years at maximum performance. The only time the photochromic transition signature 7 and 8 lenses won't darken is if you're behind your windshield. Your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day. That's why they don't turn dark in a car. Now, if you have a convertible or a motorcycle, they will darken. But having said that, these Photo Zeiss Photofusion Extra Gray lenses will get 30 to 50% dark behind a windshield. Also, all photochromic lenses are temperature sensitive, meaning they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above. But I remind everyone, when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable, nobody works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. We all work much better when it cools off. Again, having said that, these Photofusion Extra Gray lenses are designed for extra active people who spend extra amounts of time in extra hot locations. Now, when he called me on the phone and wanted the kind that darkened, and it turns out he was from Florida, I recommended these because they will get darker. It's almost always above 85 degrees in Florida, even in the middle of a hurricane. What's up with that? But no, it's, uh, and again, they have already started to lighten tremendously, but even at their darkest point, they still keep getting darker and darker the first couple weeks. Come on, Dan, we talked about that. Don't you remember? But this, this looks really good. Look at that, the Photofusion Extra Gray lenses and the gray frame. This is my best-selling Oakley Airdrop color. And it's crazy. This frame comes in four sizes, a 51, 53, 55, and 57. They all come in all the colors except this one does not come in a 57. This is the largest that it comes in. I don't know why. Everyone needs to write letters to Oakley and tell them to make this one size larger. The black, the tortoise, the satin quartin, the steel, all the other colors it comes in. All four sizes are represented, only three in this one. I don't know why, but then again, I don't own Oakley and know what they're doing. I'm just a small pawn in the game of life. <laughs> I'm quoting Bongo from uh, Blazing Saddles. But uh, I quote the deep philosophers, because deep down, I'm really shallow. But um, no, so, by the way, this frame, any of the Oakley airdrops, the 8046 sells for 178 complete with one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses. The Zeiss Progressive lens adds $149.99. The Photofusion Extra Gray is $129.99. The regular is just you know, $99.99. This one is $129.99. And the DuraVision Blue Protect, also $99.99. The anti-glare that comes with the industry's harder scratch coating. For a total of $557.97. Now, that is tax-free. The reason why I point that out now is a lot of people on the internet have to charge tax. I am in North Carolina. North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device. No tax is collected on medical devices, so that's how I am able to remain tax-free. And again, I also offer free shipping and free single vision prescription lenses with the purchase of any frame. Free bad jokes. It's going to cost you guys if you want some really good humor. But that's what you get for free. Your, your parents are right. You get what you pay for. <laughs> so. 
But Dan, on behalf of Dan and Peg and the Villages, Florida, thank you so much for the purchase of the Oakley 8046 Airdrop, size 55, color 03, the smoke gray, with your Zeiss Digital Light D or your Zeiss Light D digital freeform progressive lens with the Photo Fusion Extra Gray and DuraVision Blue Protect Anti Glare. And now, hopefully, everyone else has gotten a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.